Veteran Stadium becoming out of date and players and fans anxious for a new facility, they finally got it this past spring. Here is what makes Citizens Bank Park different from any other ballpark in America as a new era in Phillies baseball begins. As Veteran Stadium and 33 years of history came tumbling down this past spring, a state-of-the-art ballpark was developed. One of the two new ballparks introduced in baseball in 2004, Citizens Bank Park is a beautiful addition to the sports complex in South Philadelphia. Citizens Bank Park was built to keep fans closer to the action and more in tune with what was going on on the playing field. The park has 43,500 seats that are angled towards the infield to give fans the feeling that they are closer to the game. John Brazier, the director of fun and games for the Phillies, discusses the seating and how fans can always follow the game. One of the things we really wanted to do is make sure that in the concourse we want to make them wide and make sure that everyone when they went out to the restroom and they went out to get something to eat or drink or go to the souvenirs that they're in tune with the game at all times. So we have wide concourses, we have drink rails, we have places for people to stand and watch the game and it goes all around not only on the lower level but also on the upper level so uh, again you're never away from the game, you're always in tune with watching the game. When talking about fans and seats in the new ballpark, radio and TV announcer Harry Callis discusses what he sees during the game. Well, you know, it's interesting because we've had, um, oh, 30-some sellouts this year, and you look down the stands in the sixth inning, and half the seats are empty. So you're saying, wait a minute, this game is sold out. The people are walking around enjoying the amenities on Ashburn Alley. They're going to the shops, they're going to the restaurants, and so our fans seem to really enjoy this ballpark. The park offers many unique and family-oriented features that separate Philadelphia from any other ballpark in America. The Phillies have made many attractions for kids at the new ballpark. One of them is the Make Your Own Fanatic. Managers of the Build-A-Bear Workshop help fans pick out, stuff, and dress the Fanatic in one of his many outfits. There are also many games and play areas throughout the concourse. I participated in the game Run the Bases and showed my opponents just how the game was played. Other exhibits include the Fanatic Fun Zone, Ballpark Pinball, and Rock Climbing. Outside of the stadium, there are four 10-foot tall bronze statues. Each of these statues represent Philadelphia's Hall of Famers, Richie Ashburn, Robin Roberts, Steve Carlton, and Mike Schmidt. One of the most notable areas in the ballpark is Ashburn Alley. Named in honor after Philly's legend Richie Ashburn, Ashburn Alley features such things as concession stands, retail stores, picnic tables, the bullpens, and the wall of fame. Now what would a ballpark be without a variety of types of foods? Citizens Bank Park has concessions that fits all the needs of fans. Greg Lazinski, the daily host of Bulls Barbecue, talks about its significance at the park. I'm the host out here for uh, uh, 82 home games and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a great idea for us, uh, you know, it's uh, the recipes and uh, like I said, uh, it's uh, being part of the Phillies family is always fun. Also at the park is Gino's world famous cheesesteaks, crab fries, Tony Luke's and the Schmitter. Citizens Bank Park also offers a few restaurants. McFadden's Restaurant and Saloon is a sports-oriented restaurant that is the place to be pre- and post-game. Another restaurant is Harry the Caves. This is named after Hall of Fame broadcaster Harry Callis and is baseball's only bi-level restaurant and bar built into the scoreboard. There also are other awesome features at the park. The Liberty Bell Home Run Spectacular towers 100 feet above street level. The bell rings after a Phillies player hits a home run. Now, if you want luxurious amenities at the ballpark, the Diamond Club is the place for you. Members can sit in the climate-controlled lounge, have a pre-game buffet, and also view the indoor batting cage used by the Phillies. Citizens Bank Park was constructed not only to attract more baseball lovers, but to satisfy those who actually play America's national pastime. Now, one of the main reasons why Citizens Bank Park was built, as their slogan says, real grass, real fun. And the Kentucky bluegrass playing surface is one of the main reasons why the Phillies obtained many key acquisitions the last few years. Larry Shank, the Vice President of Public Relations, discusses the overall reaction of players to Citizens Bank Park. It's been a very positive thing. Um, Barry Bunn said it was gorgeous, you know. Uh, it has got a reputation of being a hitter's ballpark. We had two off seasons that were spectacular. You know, we're getting Jim Tomey, David Bell, and Kevin Millwood one winter, and Eric Milton and Billy Wagner the second winter. So 
that created a lot of different, you know, there was a lot more interest in us than there had been in previous years. There are many reasons why players consider Citizens Bank Park a very beautiful ballpark. They have batting tunnels to warm up in before the game. They have state-of-the-art therapy and rehabilitation rooms, and they also have a gigantic weight room. Although the players may be relaxed during batting practice, all attention soon focuses on the game and how they can contribute to a Phillies win. Here is what one futures Philly slugger thinks about Citizens Bank Park. I just, I think like the overall feel of it, um, you know, the, the openness, it's not a enclosed like veteran stadium, there's more to look at and just the overall outlook and, and, and the view of the stadium. Although the Phillies failed to meet expectations this year, fans love the intimate seats, grass is the playing surface, and the overall atmosphere Citizens Bank Park has brought to Philadelphia. This is Brandon David Al, 56 News.